Now we will review the notes that we know to read. Outside of the lines are with a half, C, sticking to the line, D, stepping on the first line, E, on the fa 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 first space is F, and on the second line is G. We know those notes very good, so we can figure who is this not going to be, right? Can you figure who's that one going to be? Who's after G? After G, we don't have H. In music, we have A. So if this is G, the next one has to be A. We can figure that one. And notice it's on the second space, right? The first space is F. The second space is going to be A. And who's going to be this one? Who's after A? B. And for B, I'm going to start putting the sticks down because they start getting high up. And you know, when the notes get high up, the sticks come down. And if this is B, this is going to be C, right? And we have C scale, but it's getting difficult to remember so many notes. So we have a trick. I'm going to show you the trick to know the notes. First, you have to notice if the note steps on the line or is on the space between two lines. If they step on the lines, I'm going to use magnets. We call them line notes. If they are on a space between two lines, we call them space notes. So first, let's make sure you know the difference between lines and space. Do you think this is line or space? Line. How about this one? Line. How about this one? space and this one line and this one space so we know that the notes to go by steps they go line space line space so if this is e this is f g a b but to help us remember the names of the notes the letters for the notes we will use lines and spaces I'm going to put a note on each one of the lines. Okay, how many lines are here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five lines. Now we know the first line is E, and we know the second line is G. We already know those. Well, this is going to be a B, this one is going to be D, and this one is going to be F. E, G, B, D, F. Well, how are you going to remember that? That's very hard. So we have something funny that we will say. We will say this, every, because you know, every starts with the letter E. Girl, because girl starts with G. Bakes, delicious fudge. Do you know what's fudge? Fudge is that chocolatey, it's not a cake, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's a chewy thing with chocolate, it's called fudge. So this is what we will say for the lines. Every girl bakes delicious fudge. That's silly, but say it with me. Say that with me, say, every girl bakes delicious fudge. Say it again with me. Every girl bakes delicious fudge. One more time. Every girl bakes delicious fudge. One more time. Every girl bakes delicious fudge. Why do we say something so silly? Because that helps you remember the notes. Let's say you see a note right here. And I ask you, who's that note? And you're like, I don't know. All you have to do is think, is that a line or a space? It's a line. What do you say on the lines? So you count. Every girl bakes delicious. Oh, that's a D. See, then you know that that's a D. And let's say you see this one. Who's that note? Is that a line or a space? It's a line. What do I say? Every girl bakes. Oh, that's a B. So that will be easy to remember. Now, for now, let's, re let's forget about delicious fudge. All I want you to be very good at E, G, B. E, G, B. Every girl bakes. We already knew that the first line is E. We already knew that the second line is G. All we have to remember is the third line is B. And if we forget it, all we have to say is every girl bakes.
So I'm going to try to trick you. I'm going to put that note and you have to say it faster than me, okay? You, you have to be, you have to beat me. Who do you think is this one? E. G. E. B. G. I'll start using blue. B. E. G. B. Let's see if we can read them all. Let's go. E. G. E. Every girl T takes G. B. E. G. B. See how that helps us remember it? E G B. E G B. Every girl takes. But how about the spaces? How about the spaces? How many spaces do we have? Let's count them. I'm putting on the spaces only. There's one, two, three, four spaces. The spaces are really cool because they are going to spell a real word. The first space, we know the f -f 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 first space is F. The second space is A. This is going to be C and this is going to be E. Can you read what it says? F A C E spells face. And if you don't know how to spell face yet, you will learn it because that's how we spell face. We spell face like this, F-A-C-E. Spell face with me, F-A-C-E. So why is that important? Because you see a note here and you're like, I don't know who's that. Well, is that a line or a space? That's a space. How do you spell face? F-A-C. Oh, that's a C. And to help you remember that the spaces are face, I say like this. Faces on the space, because that rhymes, right? So say it with me, say, faces on the space. So if you see a space, you have to think face. Now, forget about the C and the E. Right now, all I want you to be good is at fe or fa. We know that the fa 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 first space is F, the second space is A. That's all you have to remember, F, A, fa. So be very fast for me, okay? Who's this one? A. F. F. A. So if it's a space, all you can think of is F or A. Now let's see if we can mix them, okay? Can you hear who's this one? It's the third line. Every girl picks. E, G, P. That's a P. And who's this one? A, B, A. You see, and they are next door neighbors, right? They are, this is B, this is one down, so it has to be A. But we also know that the second space is A because of face, F, A. B, A. B, A, G. And those are the notes that we read on recorder, B, A, G. So now we are not going to have letters anymore on recorder. We're going to read them.